Welcome back to Colony Wars. Last time, we jumped into our first battles against the Navy as they tried to destroy key infrastructure, eliminate civilians, and intercept a POW transfer. We then saw the League's gambit to halt the invasion of Galanire by reclaiming the Galanire Draco battle platform and closing the warp hole. For the sake of the Holocaust route, we will assume the League lost that battle of attrition, and thanks to the loss of that platform in addition to fleet assets, is now dragging itself to Diomedy system. The Navy has set its sights on the League's most valuable resource base, and if it falls, so too will the League. So, let's see that outcome. Wasted and drained, League fleet pilots drag their ships across starfields riddled with snipers. Friends lost friends, families lost sons and daughters. Brothers and sisters were torn apart in the Navy's drive to end the threat from Galania. We fought on, but we felt desperate. It took us so long to secure Galania that the Navy had time to regroup and look elsewhere for its spoils. This time, it would try to take Diomedes. League forces were split and struggling. We had too many rookies and a star system to lose. A number of high-definition distress beacons have recently been sent from bases within the Diomedes system to League Command in Galanire. Due to prolonged League defense of the home system, Diomedes has remained vulnerable to naval attack. Enemy forces are now exploiting this opportunity. Scout reports indicate the presence of Navy siren weapons in the vicinity of the Diomedes warp hole. A highly unstable minefield is also present in the region. League casualties have already been recorded. These weapons pose a danger to the League frigate, currently on course for the warp hole. You must pursue a course across the minefield, destroying any rogue Navy presence. Target and destroy all siren weapons prior to the frigate's exit from the warp hole. This is command. Estimated arrival of frigate, two minutes. Sirens must be cleared during this time. This type of mission is used at least once more in the campaign. It's a, it's a bit of a quick one. We gotta run around and destroy some uh, robotic minefields, as I would put them. The sirens, once a capital ship jumps in, will grapple that ship and then pull it towards it, after which mines will be launched at it and destroy it very fast. The mines are floating around the siren and you don't want to fly into them. You also cannot destroy them, so be careful. Even if you fail to destroy all of the sirens in time, there's still plenty of time even after it jumps in to take care of the sirens. So in Diomedes, the League is technically considered on the run at this point. If we fail at any point after the first mission of this arc and the next arc, it will lead to the first game over. No, I'm not! Commencing jump sequence. Now that we've seen this mission completed, 
the next mission that is going to be shown is what happens if you fail this mission. So let's get on that. Inventory scans indicate that the Navy presence within Diomedes continues to increase. Navy siren weapons are triggering armed frigate responses. League craft are encountering mobile retaliatory units at frequent intervals. As a loyal ally of the League, Diomedes must be defended. Failure to destroy siren weapons in the warp hole vicinity has left a valuable League frigate in an isolated position. This vessel is carrying a number of sensitive digital encryption devices. It must be protected as the information it currently holds is highly classified. Rescue the vessel from enemy sirens and assist its passage back to the warp hole. Engage all enemy craft attempting to intercept the progress of this frigate. This alert carries an immediate response order. This is League Frigate. We do not have the maneuverability to take out the sirens holding us. Please assist. This is a rather long-winded mission. First, we have to save the League Frigate from the sirens. The interesting fact about these sirens, which we posted in a formal failure reel video, um, they will not destroy the frigate. <laughs> After we destroy the sirens, though, the real mission happens. Oftentimes through the campaign, we'll be faced with a task like this, escorting a capital ship, trying to keep it from getting destroyed. In most cases, our capital ship can be very easily destroyed, which brings up the dissonance between the League and the Navy. We have superior fighter craft, but they have superior fleet craft. So in this case, our League frigate really isn't going to be opening fire on theirs, but that one is going to be trying to destroy it. We actually have plenty of time, but the smart thing to do is to attack the frigate attacking ours, and as soon as that's destroyed, clean up the fighters, and we have this mission in the bag. Since this has just happened, when your shields are destroyed, they will not regenerate, so it's essentially a second health bar. With the Navy frigate jumping out, ours is able to enter the warp hole and get out of the sector. Mission accomplished. This is Command. Frigate has traversed the warp hole. Your mission is... If you completed the previous mission or failed that and complete this one, this mission coming up will always happen, and it's a doozy.
Pockets of Navy action have been reported throughout the Diomedes system. League resources are now fully stretched. A process of containment is underway. The League frigate surveillance system is currently monitoring suspect Navy activity within the Iris zone. An enemy frigate and destroyer are proceeding with maneuvers which suggest a possible bomb transfer. Proximity to Iris indicates that the planet is in danger of potential extinction. Probable loss of Diomedes would follow such a course of action. Approach and intercept enemy craft. Pursue and destroy any craft attempting bomb transfer. Be aware that transfer craft heading for the destroyer are likely to be carrying intense anti-population virus bombs. Iris must be protected. This is command. Approach enemy frigate with caution. In order to destabilize Diomedes as a whole, the Tsar has decided he is going to virus bomb the planet and kill millions of people. Just another day for Space Hitler, though. This is command. They're using APCs for the transfer. They must be taken out. This is a priority alert. The frigate and the destroyer in this mission cannot be destroyed. The APCs will be launched three times. They have quite a distance to go, so it's probably smarter to wait until they're all out than take them all out at once. However, it's a fairly simple mission. Diomedes was holding, but only just. The League fleets knew it was all or nothing. If we lost that system to the Navy, there'd be nowhere left for the League to hide. The Tsar knew it too. His failed attempt to virus bomb Iris must have hurt him badly. We knew he'd want revenge. Diomedes was resource rich and fertile. That much he'd want to save. But as pilots, we were totally dispensable. It was simple. Without Diomedes, the League was finished. Without the League, Diomedes was dead. The prevailing balance of forces within Diomedes continues to hold in the League's favor. However, intercepted data transmissions beamed from Navy craft within the system persist in detailing planned intervention. Loss of the system's resources and manpower would be a disaster for the League. Confrontations with Navy craft continue to occur at sporadic intervals. Specific details are currently being received regarding an attack on League civilian transporters in the Loakun zone. Due to random sabotage attacks on Loakun manufacturing bases, increased raw material transportation has been implemented. These supplies are now threatened. Advance in direction of reported confrontation. Escaping Navy craft must be tagged for future location procedure. 
you are unlikely to have resources available to provide a military threat to these enemy craft. This is Command. Nine fleet craft have been detected. Target and tag them with your mole missiles. Do not attempt to engage fleet craft in combat. This is a bit of an odd duck mission. The mole missiles will definitely come up later in the game. For now, we have to tag nine fleet craft. We have an infinite supply, thankfully, because they have a very short range. So all we gotta do is duck and weave through the flak, mark these ships, and get out of here. I would like to take the time to point out that that planetoid that you'll see in the background behind me, the planets in this game are actually 3D objects, and they're just outside mission boundaries, so you can end up flying through them. As it was with the last time, if you fail this mission, the upcoming mission will be what you go for. And I, I kind of wish I wasn't the case, because some of these missions are definitely worth playing and having in the grand scheme. They don't really feel like failure states. Navy incursions within Diomedes now appear to be increasing uncontrollably. Raw materials and manufactured goods are being pirated and diverted away from League transport routes. A number of endemic food shortages have been reported throughout League territories. It is imperative that individual League pilots ensure the satisfactory conclusion of their missions. Intelligence units report the presence of a damaged Navy frigate on the edge of the Elysium Zone, bordering Bacchus. It intends to dock with a starport for urgent repair procedures. There is a serious threat to Elysium's power supply network. This craft must be destroyed prior to repair completion. Trace this frigate and attack. Be aware that once the frigate is repaired, it will attempt to warp out of the area towards Elysium. This cannot be permitted. Power to the Diomedes system will be lost if Elysium is attacked. League supremacy will also be threatened. This is command. Target frigate for destruction. Early attack recommended. Should frigate reach starport, its defenses are likely to be repaired. We have a fairly strict time limit in this mission where we're getting our first look at the League bomber, the Chimera. We have a bunch of torpedoes that we can only fire once, and you'll really only see this craft come out when there's one hard target we need to take out, that we absolutely must take out. Failing this mission will seal the doom of the League in this particular instance. The bomber is definitely my least favorite craft, because it also cools lasers down slower than the others. I just wish there was more payload to play around with. Frigate has docked with starboard. Continue your attack. The frigate must be destroyed. I 
I should also probably point out that every time you see the screen flash blue like that, I got hit by an asteroid. And that does a lot of damage. Well done. Mission complete. Jump sequence initiated. Attempts to secure the Diomedy system against further incursion are still being hampered. There have been unexplained shutdowns of primary food production facilities throughout the system, and civilian areas are coming under frequent attack. Emergency network reports indicate a problem with a League-held battle platform in the Elysium zone. Currently disabled due to high-level enemy blanket raids, this platform is again under fire. It is likely that the enemy will attempt to board the platform. Engage all craft attempting to attack this platform. Prevent enemy craft docking or landing until platform defense grid can be brought back online. Be aware that loss of the Diomedy system is likely to result in a renewed attack on Galanire. This platform must be defended. Battle Platform Diomedes 1, estimated time to defense grid activation, 10 minutes. This is Heavy Wing 3, enemy APCs in range, we've got to stop them docking. Attack using full force. Definitely don't have 10 minutes to spare for this mission. We just got to keep the APCs from docking, which I will assume launch in, like, forever until that defense grid comes up. But in my case, I am going to destroy that frigate. I got reminded that I had to go shoot down this APC. Also, uh, they have really weird hitboxes. Also, I really like that the Navy has that saucer design on everything, including their APCs. It's kind of cute. Return to base. Commencing docking sequence. With these two sets of missions complete, we've seen what happens if the League can hold the line in Diomedes. We won't be progressing to where this takes us until after we see the Draco system for the first time. But as this is the Holocaust route, we could have lost the system in four distinct ways. The League frigate carrying sensitive data could have been intercepted. Iris could have been viral bombed. Diomedes power could have been shut down. Or the Diomedes Alpha Centauri battle platform could have been captured. These circumstances will lead to the judgment. The surrender of Diomedes was chaotic, but the full retreat from the system was worse. Shattered League ships crept back to the panic of Galanaya as the Navy tore through Diomedes, annihilating last pockets of resistance.
before they too turned on Galaniah. And now, the judgment comes to pass. Dreadnoughts and destroyers spilled through the warp hole, and behind them came Tsunami, the Tsar's personal super titan. I have never before witnessed such a creation. Destruction is its only purpose. It has come here to wipe away the memory of the League and the Father. It has come to wreak the Tsar's vengeance. As we wait for death to sweep us away, I can only leave this recording to the vapors of space and hope that one of our kind lives to witness its message. And the lesson we have learnt after these centuries of struggle? The Empire is all. It will never be defeated. Never. This is not the final fate of the League, however. Next time, we will see what happens after the League has secured Galanire and does the unthinkable, launches a counterattack against the mighty Empire.